I see one. Come here, come here. There's a little frog. That's a Cuban. It's a Cuban tree frog. They don't belong in little... <laughs> Look at that. Palmetto's here. Oh, I see one. Come here, come here. There's a little frog. That's a Cuban. It's a Cuban tree frog. He's tucking down. Look. He's tucking down onto the leaf. Yep, got him. Look at him. That's our first Cuban tree frog. Look at that. He's a cutie. Look at you. Hey, bud. What are you doing hanging out on that leaf? Now what they'd be hunting out here is little insects, like little bugs. <laughs> Look, stuff like this. There's a little grasshopper right there on the leaf. And these guys get big. This is a young one. They'll get the size of my fist. That's how big these guys get. So look at that. That's how big this little guy will get. And in this colder weather, this is actually colder weather for them because they can't go too far north because where they're normally from live right along the equator. They don't get any kind of harsh winters, so anything below freezing kills them. Now this little guy, an easy way to tell that it's a Cuban tree frog, look right there. There's a yellow patch and it's on this side too. They got one on each of their legs and that's an easy way to identify them. And another way is the bottom of their leg are actually a greenish blue color. The bone is greenish blue, which is something interesting. They're kind of like halfway transparent. Man, this little fella is strong. I had to get him by his back feet just to be able to show you guys. Now these little fellas are voracious predators. They'll eat anything that moves. They'll even eat other tree frogs. They'll eat green tree frogs and gray tree frogs, and they'll even eat smaller Cuban tree frogs. In fact, this guy would be a little one. He could eat some smaller than him, and there are bigger ones that would eat him. That's how cannibalistic they are. They'll eat anything that moves. Man, look at that. His feet are really big. He's got really big pads on his feet, little suction cup pads for gripping onto stuff. They can grip onto the sides of anything. And that's one of the reasons that they've been doing so well as an invasive species, because they can get into towns, they can get into houses, they can get anywhere that they want to where it doesn't get cold enough and places where they can figure out how to survive the winters. These little guys actually secrete a really, really bad little poison. Not, nothing that would really hurt me with holding them. I gotta make sure I wash my hands, but I can't rub my eyes, can't rub my mouth or my nose or anything like that. It'd really burn. In fact, it'd probably burn your skin a little bit. I definitely gotta make sure to wash it off afterwards. But these little guys do secrete a poison that is much harsher than all of our other tree frogs here. Really cute little frog, but it's unfortunate, but they just don't belong here. They don't belong in little... <laughs> Look at that. They just don't belong here in Louisiana. And these guys need to be removed from the area, unfortunately. But you guys know me. I definitely would never want to kill a frog. And I'm not going to kill this guy, but I'm also not going to leave him here to where he can continue, you know, hurting the environment, basically. It's an invasive species. So we're actually going to take him home with us today and make sure that he grows up happy and healthy. And maybe we can get him to that giant fist-sized frog that he can be. Amazing frog. And it's an innocent animal, you know, it doesn't know that it's invasive here. It's trying to, you know, get food, get water, and just kind of survive through the winter. It doesn't know any better. It's just living its life as a frog, and it's been brought here by people. So we need to be able to deal with them properly. Definitely not going to kill this little cutie. We're going to take him back with us. Come here, little buddy. Look at how he climbs. Oh, come here, bud. Definitely a tree frog, that's for sure. Awesome little guy. And we're going to be taking him back with us. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, we're going to go set him up in a little aquarium. <laughs>